Welcome again. Today, our topic on algorithms design and analysis course is coin change problem. The general statement of coin change problem is that given a set of coins with different denominations and amount W, provided that we have infinite supply of each denomination, we have to find out the minimum number of coins of certain denominations required to make the given sum or amount. This is the first type of the problem or the first version. And the second type of the problem to find out the total number of possible ways or permutations a given amount can be made from these coins. Suppose, for example, we have the coins one cent, five cents, and 10 cents, and the amount is 10. We can generate the sum using one coin of five cents and five coins of one cent, two coins of five cents, 10 coins of one cent, and using one coin of 10 cents. So for the first type of the coin change problem, the minimum number of coins is one. But for the second type of the problem, number of ways, then we have four. Coin change problem can be solved using different strategies, like a greedy strategy, a recursive strategy, and dynamic programming. A greedy strategy does not always give optimal solution to coin change problem. Suppose, for example, that we have the coins one, three, four, five, and the amount seven. By using greedy strategy, we first pick the coin five, then one and one. So we need three coins. However, the optimal solution uses two coins to solve the problem, three and four. And as another example, suppose we have the coins 15, 10, and 4, and the amount is 28. Using a greedy strategy, we first pick 15, then 10. The sum is 25, and we cannot solve the problem. So here, no solution. However, there is a solution if we pick 10, 10, 4, and 4. Recursive strategy can be applied to solve the coin change problem. Here is the pseudo code for a recursive algorithm to find the minimum change. Recursive strategy has the drawback that it performs extra calculations. We saw that when it was applied to finding a factorial of an integer positive number. Recursive algorithm recalculates the optimal coin combination for a given amount of money repeatedly. Here, the same function is computed multiple times. The complexity of recursive algorithm here, big O is two to the power N. And we will have the same scenario if we apply recursion to the second type of the coin change problem. So recursive strategy is not efficient for solving the coin change problem. Next, we move to dynamic programming. Dynamic programming refers to simplifying a complicated problem by breaking it down into subproblems. We are already familiar with dynamic programming and how it is applied to solve different problems. The coin change problem is considered by many to be essential to understanding the paradigm of dynamic programming. Dynamic programming always uses extra space, tables or arrays to store the intermediate results. And the major work performed is to fill out these tables and arrays. Here is an example. Suppose that we have the coins one, two, three, and the amount is five. And we need to find the number of ways or permutations we can find the amount. Here is the table with six columns, W plus one, and three rows. Here are the coins, one, two, three, and in the columns, we have the values zero to W. First, we fill here one, because we can generate the sum zero using these coins by not selecting any of them. Here, the empty set, is a subset of the original set. 
next by using the coin one we can in one way only obtain any of these amounts now we start to fill the other entries in the table we add the values by excluding the coin and including it in each entry here is the main part of the code if coins i greater than j then we just copy the above cell else we add the values by excluding and including the coin for example 2 is greater than j we copy from the above and here really we copy from the above now 2 is not greater than 2 so we add 1 plus 2 minus 2 0 here we have 1 so we'll have here 2 next 3 is greater than 2 so we have the above cell 1 plus 3 minus 2 is 1 and we have here 1 so 1 is added here 4 is greater than 2 so we have 1 plus 4 minus 2 is 2 and this cell we have 2 so we'll have it here 3 here 5 is greater than 2 so in the above cell we have 1 plus 5 minus 2 is 3 in the third column we have here 2 so we have here 1 plus 2 now regarding the coin 3 3 is greater than 2 so we copy the above cell here since 3 is not greater than 3 so we add here 2 plus 3 minus 3 is 0 here we have 1 4 is greater than 2, so we have here 3 plus 4 minus 3 is 1. Here we have 1 in the column 1. And 5 is greater than 3, so we have 3 here plus 5 here minus 3, 2. In the column 2, we have here 2. So this is our final result, 5. There are five ways to get this amount using these coins. The complexity of this algorithm is big O N W. Remember in the recursive strategy, we have big O two to the power N. Here we have another example. Suppose that we have the coins one, five, six, eight, and the amount is 11. And we need to find the minimum number of coins to make this amount. So in the table, we'll have 12 entries. Here is the amount, and here we have the coins. We have 12 columns for the amounts and four rows for the coins. The minimum number of coins to make the sum zero are zero. So we fill the first column with zeros. Next. What is the minimum number of coins required to make the sum one? Here we have one and two. Here three, four, five. Here we have the major part of the code, how to fill the other entries in the table. If coins i greater than j, then we just copy the above cell. Else we have to pick the minimum of these two values. I will demonstrate how to perform that while filling the table. Since five is greater than one, here we copy, here as well, and here we copy from the other above cell. Since five is not greater than five, so we have to fill this cell. Minimum of five or one plus. Five minus five, zero. In the column zero, we have the amount zero. 1 plus 0. The minimum value is 1. Here, minimum 6 or 1 plus 6 minus 5, 1. In column 1, we have 1. 1 plus 1. The minimum here is 2. In the same manner for this cell, minimum 7 or 1 plus 7 minus 5, 2. Here we have on column two, 
on the same row two. One plus two, three, the minimum is three. In the same manner, we continue filling the table. I hope you have the same values. Now, regarding the coin eight here, nine is greater than eight, so we have to pick the minimum from the above cell, which is four, or one plus nine minus eight is one. In column one, we have one here. The minimum is two. And regarding 10, here we have to pick minimum. The above cell is two, and here one plus 10 minus eight, two. In the column two, we have two. The minimum is two. And on the last cell, minimum, the above cell two, and here one plus 11 minus eight, three. On the third column, we have here the value three. One plus three, four, minimum is two. So in the last cell, we have the answer. The minimum number of coins is two. Now to find out the coins, do you see we have here the same value? So we go to the above row. This two came from here, not from here. So six is included. Now the remaining value is 11 minus six, which is five. So, on the above row, we go to column five here. Since this one did not come from here, it came from here, so we pick the coin five as well. The remaining amount, five minus five, zero. So we go here and we are done. So the coins are six and five. Again, the complexity of this algorithm is big O N W where N is the number of types of coins and W is the amount. Thank you.